tag with Emma. This video, we're gonna be servicing four wheelers. So right now, I'm going to go wash them off with the pressure washer again. Got the good old Carhartt water pants. So I don't really know what is gonna be in this video yet because I've never done this before. But we'll find out. We sure do find out around here, so get all situated. And it's snowing outside. Well, it's not snowing anymore, but it was snowing this morning, so it's cold. So hopefully the water doesn't like freeze to it. But you guys already know what I'm going to be up to with pressure washing. So I don't need to explain that. If you're curious, go watch the pressure washing equipment video. It'll be down a few from this one. We're going to go get crack a -lacking. The only difference this time is that I am a pressure washing pimp. <laughs> Uh, sunglasses because it's bright as heckle out here. Oh, all the snow reflecting. That's why you wear sunglasses in the winter. Can Because you can sunburn your eyeballs, especially when you have blue eyes. That was probably a little close and uncomfortable for a lot of some of you, but you'll get over it. For pressure washing. I mean, they're snowy because the shed was open, the snow all blew in there. But let's see how they turn out. So here is after they're all pressure washed. We got out the undercarriage pressure washer and cleaned them all up nice. Look pretty good for a first timer. How about me? How do I look? I gave up the pimp in because they were steaming up. I can't even talk right. When your nose is cold, it runs. Um, but here's the OG look. If you're gonna get dirty pressure washing, that's all I have to say. I cannot move my face, it is so cold. Oh, I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no tread on it. I'm pretty sure that's ice in my hair. <laughs> Gonna get her up on the lift. Also, my boss has brought it to my attention that dissemble is not a word. So if you watched my gearbox video, <laughs> I meant disassembling, not dissembling. <laughs> So we have got chains on the, we could lift it from the bottom, but we gotta work on some stuff under there. We're gonna lift it up and service it. I'm gonna test your reflexes. Don't drop it in the bucket. I won't. Huh? I'll try not to. Oh, okay. Ah, no. <laughs> All right, and then after the oil is done draining, I'm gonna put the plug back in. Where did that go? Over there. Ah, uh, right there. So I'll put the plug back in, because if you don't put the plug back in when you pour oil back into it, all the oil just goes straight through it. And then you got a mess on the floor and you gotta put floor clean and floor dry or whatever that is all over the floor. Just put the plug back in. Oh, we're also redoing the brakes on these ones, right? Unseizing them. Unseizing them. Brake pedal seized up. Brake pedal seized up. The start. This is our problem. Okay. So this is rusted inside of here. I did miss a spot. It's not all the way clean. Oops. Gotta get that little pin out so you can get it out. It's a cotter pin. Yeah. The cotter pin? The cotter pin, yep. I've always seen them, you just never know the names. There's cotter pins, hair pins, lynch pins. There wash. is the cotter pin. You got it out. Use a little. Aren't those a uh, needle nose? <laughs> Tool identification for the win. So took this thing. Now I just gotta get that unstuckered. And then this little tube runs back here and you can loosen it. So we tried to loosen that. 
but it's not budging, I think. I don't know. I just took the whole thing out. She gone. it with some knocker loose so far it has not knocked it loose <laughs> it is working on it though it's coming all right got the good old pry bar in there and it's coming off it has been knocked loose <laughs> because if you don't use it then they seize up because all the water and mud gets all greased up in there so you can't just use your handlebar you got to use your brake and after it's off, you're gonna use emery cloth on it. Get it get old, nice and shined up. Emery cloth is just uh, sandpaper, but for metal. That's the gist that I have received. Stuff like this. And since this one's not very particular, we can just swap it on there. I've been doing threads or oh, yeah, with threads something you, you don't want to like stuff it into whatever you're threading but some good old anti c anti c anti 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 <laughs> never know what to say when it's anti it's like anti 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 seize so it doesn't seize again hopefully remember to use your brake pedal look at that Putting that tube back on. That's the tube. It's actually, it's not a tube, it's a cable. It's a cable, not a tube. Just like dissemble is not a word, it's disassemble. <laughs> it just looks like a tube, therefore it is a tube in my head. That's funny. But that cable goes back on and then that's what sque squeezes your brakes. Bada bing, bada boom. Now we're gonna put oil back in. So you unscrew that little thing. And the book says approximately 1.6 quarts of oil to go back in this thingy. There's your dipstick. I'm gonna wipe that off before you test it again. That's off. Nine. It's pretty slow. Okay. It's just slow. It's not a me problem. It's probably a me problem, but it's also just slow. Done. Now you can go ahead and check the oil again and make sure it's all up to snuff. There's the dipstick to check your oil. We're gonna just wipe it off. And check it after you turn it on because then it's cycled and then you can really tell where your oil's at. So wipe it off and then pull it back out. Oh, I guess not. Probably needs a little more, huh? Yeah. Did you put what was in it and then another whole one? Yeah. I think Honda's you screw the dipstick in. Yeah, I screwed it all the way in. And Suzuki's you set it in. Mm hmm But let me double check, because if you're screwing it in, you need a little more. Here's code. Now you put that stuff in there. It's Lucas Heavy Oil. That's what they do. Just keeps them from dry starting is the big thing. Perfect. And we're all done, so this thing is going down very slowly. And then we're gonna hook them up, give them a good old charge. Whoever is at the butt. Flexes weren't fast enough. Oh. We also have to use millimeter sockets because these were made in Japan. Um, and then you check your rear end. So we're gonna check this. There's an oil level. Um, I kind of forgot. Maybe it's that one. I don't think I have Allen wrenches big enough. For that. I watched him do the last one, but this one does not look like that one. Fixing an air hole in the tire. Please. 
This is rubber cement. Oh. I used to play with that stuff when I was in fourth grade under the desk. <laughs> Get away, Doug. <laughs> I'll just swap it on there. It's just like a bodily injury. You leave it in so it doesn't keep bleeding. Make sure that back a little bit. Oh, wow. And then you sand it off or what? Nope. Just leave it? Just leave it. There you have it. Some people, Tires all fixed. Some people leave them long and clip them off, but okay. I just stuff them there and there. There's a lot of go. And for the rear end, you got to take this plastic cover off so you can check it. And there's a little spot for an Allen wrench, but they're the big Allen wrenches. I grabbed little Allen wrenches. And then I'm pretty sure it's a 12 millimeter. Because like I said, they're made in Japan. Japan. Oh, I grabbed a 13. It still isn't big enough. I guess it's a 14. I was trying to take the axle off, not the cover. <laughs> so they probably are 10s because we are trying to get that little bolt off. I was trying to get that one off. I'm just a little silly goose sometimes. That's fine. There we go. It's taking the cover off. So we'll take that and that off. And then get the Allen wrench up in there somewhere. That one. Yep. Nasty. I missed all that pressure washing. Can you believe that? Disgusting. That came right off of there. So it gets all caked up. But I probably can't do this one handed. True. So there's the drain plug. And we're trying to Allen wrench it off. Maybe. So you unscrew that to check if there's oil in it. There's water in it. If there's water in the oil. Okay. So you basically just make sure that it's not water coming out or like super, super dark. But we're good. So. Milky. Or milky. I don't know why that wasn't focusing, but you get the point. There's oil coming out of it. Ah, such a better angle. And this is the check plug. I just unscrewed it. Um, and a little bit of oil comes out of that one too. So we are golden. That is just the rear end. It's so weird that it's called the rear end. That's not what I would call that. This one also has an oil filter. So we gotta take that off and change it. Okay, so new oil filter. So there is that. You don't have to take out the one in the middle. And there is the filter. Little baby. Here's a new oil filter. Just gonna stick it right back in there. So the air filters are under the seat. You just clip those off. So that is a dirty air filter. We're gonna go clean it. Okay, so I'm gonna put gloves on, but a solvent Basically, parts cleaner is going to come out of that, and then... So, if you don't put gloves on, then it dries your hands out, and that is why you put gloves on. And then you just flip the little switch, and it starts coming out. It smells like acetone, or what's that paint thinner? Paint thinner. Yeah. Stuff also floats on water, so there's only 10 or 15 gallons in the bucket, and then you fill the rest up with water. Oh, okay. And then when it evaporates far enough that it won't, the pump won't grab it, you put some water in it. And then for the filter, you're gonna go on the inside. Because if you wash the outside, then it just pushes it all back inside the filter, and that's what we're trying to avoid. Walk. You're putting oil on it so that it catches all of the dirt, right? And then after you put little streaks of it, we're just going to smush it up so it's blue all over. 
what happens is when you get dust in the engine, it scars the piston, and so oh, it starts okay. eating, letting oil pass the piston, and... Uh, and that's when you have problems. Yeah, it's... Okay. So it looks like a half-shaved cucumber. <laughs> what are you... Not shaved. <laughs> I told you, I was telling Brayden earlier, I just make my own English, so that's why I use words like dissemble. Also, if you listen to the video of the background music, it was piano earlier. And now it's rock music, and there's no in between. <laughs> um... I was kidding, it adds a good variety. I get really self-conscious when I listen to my own music in the shop because it's like girly music and then everyone will walk in and I like turn it down right away because it's silly. But you can see this filter is kind of, the oil is getting more spread out. You squish it. Okay, getting closer. There's what it looks like. I'm just struggling to get on the bottom, I guess. I kind of like squish it up in there. All right, so there is a good old oiled up filter. It is not perfect, but it looks more blue. I mean green, because blue plus green. I mean yellow makes green. And then you're gonna put this little thing back in it. There's a hole in the bottom and this hole goes in there. And then it goes this gray piece goes around this. All right. Just like that. So we are all cleaned, oiled up, ready to go back in the four wheeler. And the last part, I think, unless I'm missing anything else, is greasing the Zerks. So Zerks are what you put the little grease thing on. See, there's that. And they have a little hole on them and you wipe it off so you don't push all the dirt and nasty back into it. So I'll show There you. it is, that little thing right there. And that hole is what you wipe off. And then you just put the grease gun over it and fill her up. Okay, so we took the check plug out of this one. There's nothing in it. So we're gonna take that one out, put more oil in it until there's oil running out of the check. That makes sense. Whoop. Well, there's oil in it. Oil on the floor. Put this stuff on it and it absorbs it. And you might you might be watching this video like, no diamond, well, that's what it is. But some people don't know what that, what that is. That's why I make videos. Anyway. Um, catch me out on all my other platforms, ag with them everywhere, catch my podcast, new episode every week on Tuesdays, um, catch your next video, hasta la pasta.